Hi, it's Trixie, welcome back to the channel. And today, let's look at our brand new friend, Hotline at Trixie Cosmetics. Hi, it's Tracy. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm me. We're here to talk about Hotline at Trixie Cosmetics. We have heard you bitches, we have heard you for years, and we have been plotting and scheming behind your backs. And I'm not sorry because something as important to me as the quality of black and white eyeliner, it cannot be rushed and it cannot be toyed with. Products need to be developed, examined, receipts, timelines, screenshots, all of it. And with our product hotline, you guys, I can confidently say, where's my camera? Here, here. We make the best black and white gel liner I've ever used in my life. I'm gonna start telling you why. I'm gonna talk to you about the technology, the pricing, all the versatility of the product, but I just wanted to let you know when we started making these, the only acceptable, in my opinion, liners on the market kept disappearing left and right. I would fall in love with a gel liner or we get discontinued, or then I would fall in love with a gel liner that wasn't maybe made for aggressive use the way I use it. So I was like, we're gonna have to jump in ourselves and we're gonna have to make the last word in black and white graphic liner. I want to make a product where the black is so black, it dries super matte, it's super long wearing, it doesn't have to be set with other products, and I want the white liner to be super opaque, super white. I want a nice big jar, I want a nice price point. I want to make something that if I was not the owner of this company would be my holy grail black and white liner. And um, we did it. Today, all I have on my eyes is these two products, black and white gel liner. I'm wearing a little bit of face powder right here, my bronzer, just like, that's it. I think everybody has a phobia of graphic liner or they are graphic liner people where all they do is graphic liner. But the truth is, with the right tools and the right products, everybody can be a graphic liner person. If you don't have the right brush or the right product, you will never complete a beautiful look doing graphic liner. But if you have the right tools and the right product, it's like falling off a log, a very glamorous log. So we have more than just eyeliner in this collection, but I think we should start at the top with the black and white eyeliner. Now this is the product that makes me a liar because for a good year and a half, if you've watched our videos, I always step off camera and I'm always like, I'm gonna go do my black and white liner. You guys have seen me do this a million times. I'm gonna do white and black liner and come right back. So I'm gonna do my white liner off camera. I'm gonna do my white liner and then come right back. I have to do like my white liner and my black liner. So I'm gonna start doing all that quick. So I finished the white liner. Isn't it beautiful? Look how opaque it is. Look how even, look how white. I wonder who makes it. Anyway, the truth is, you have seen me do it a million times, but the other truth is I was using this and I was hiding it from you. So I think most relationships are built on honesty and this is a video I never thought I would be making. I'm just kidding. We're not there yet. We're not apologizing. This product has nothing to apologize for. This product, we put the work in, the testing. This product has been almost, almost, almost ready to come out for so long because it really, from Trixie Mattel, if I can't make black and white liner, that's good. What am I here on this planet for? This product is completely eye safe. It's completely vegan, tested on drag queens, obviously not animals. So Hotliner comes in two colors, right? They come in black and white. We had the idea for Hotline because we wanted it to be kind of like a phone dial. You guys know I'm, I'm obsessed with the 60s and there's so many great super mod black and white photo shoots. Not dissimilar to the campaign image, which is so gorgeous. Can't believe it. This is one of my favorite pictures of myself I've ever seen. I love it. And you guys know at Trixie Cosmetics, for some reason, we cannot put down the phone. Every photo shoot has a phone. It's kind of like a running joke that there's always a phone. But I mean, you know, we love a theme. And when we kind of came up with the telephone vibe, I was like, that is so cute. One's black and one's white. Obviously this is the black shade. This is the white shade. We are changing the industry by going with the names black and white. We could have done midnight, but like, let's just, let's just for once, when we're working with primary shades of essential things, let's just call it what it is, which is black and white, okay? But that being said, if you name an orange eyeshadow orange, I have it out for you. So I don't know. I'm very like count, self countering, but whatever. Black and white gel. Again, I did my whole makeup today with just these, just these, that's it. To get in drag with no eyeshadow was really sacrilegious, but easy. Very easy. These liners come in these very gratuitous jars, super deep. If you seal them up, close them tight, and use them like you would use any gel liner. I have gone through three or four of these since they're like finished, they never dry out. The way I use them, I open, I scoop, 
and I close. If you spend all day with, I mean, this is any liner. If you let them sit out, they dry out. I mean, these liners perform so beautifully. And as long as you don't, I don't know, in the middle of your eyeliner, go pick up a phone call and leave this open for 45 minutes at a time. You're gonna have a really beautiful finish all the way to the bottom of the pot. Like I said, what I usually do is I take a brush, I open, I scoop and I wear it on the back of my hand while I work because it keeps it warmer and it makes sure I can keep that jar closed because sometimes I'm on tour for weeks and weeks. So a product like this, I need this to last to the last drop. So when you open this product, it has this beautiful, you know, Trixie Cosmetics pink shell top. And then it has this little protective layer, this little like prophylactic, if you will. This is just an extra level of protection. Keep this, put this on there screw it on. This is what makes these glass jars airtight. I'll tell you guys something I never learned. I have always complained about liners in this industry drying out. And what I learned during the testing process, which we started this product years ago. In like 2019, we started this product. This has been in the works a very long time. Once we were happy with a formula, we learned that glass jars in general are not guaranteed to be airtight. So all the different packagers we work with, people are like, mm, if it's a glass jar, we can't really guarantee that it's airtight. Meaning like no matter how much you tighten this, it could be leaking air. And so when you have this little protective little guy in there, don't throw it away. This is actually meant to make your product last longer. So please keep this. I keep mine and that's why every time I use this, I make it to the bottom of the jar. Now, full disclosure, I do use black eyeliner a little faster than most people. I don't know if you can imagine that. But for all of you who mess around with graphic liner once in a while, a jar of each of these could last you a very long time. Something else I love about it is it has a lot of slip to it. So one of the issues with graphic liner is every time you have to retread over an area because the liner skipped or the pigmentation wasn't deep enough, you kind of chance messing up your makeup. So like this floating crease, because this product's so creamy and so black, I could take my little Trixie Cosmetics brush and just one swipe and then I didn't have to go back in. Cause I don't know about you guys, the more you let me sit there and mess with it, the more likely I am to mess up the whole makeup. So these liners have a super smooth and soft texture and they are very quick drying and they wear for a long time. The technology in these, basically when it sets, it locks itself in with like a film. And so I have sweated over these, like I have powder puffed over these. This is the first black gel liner where it looks like I have gone in and set the liner with black eyeshadow and I have. And that's pretty gaggy. Once it's on, you want it on. So I'm gonna do some swatching quick. I want you guys to see, this is my young woman's arm. I did stop self tanning. This is the real me, I'm being vulnerable. I'm gonna swatch for you guys the black and the white. This white is about to blow your mind. I've got a Trixie Cosmetics P3 here. This is technically a concealer brush. I mean, I used it today with white eyeshadow right under my brow bone. So you can use this for whatever. I've used it for lips. You guys know this is my nose brush. Don't laugh at me. So I'm gonna use this to swatch for you guys because I don't know. This is meant to be used with a brush. What does me wiping my finger in and wiping my arm tell you at all? And I wanna show you the opacity here. It's really fierce, okay? Shouldn't be swearing. There could be kids watching this. Again, it just, it's so opaque. It is so white and it sets on its own. I mean, for a product like this to look like this without being set with white shadow, you guys, I'm an expert. I'm the LeBron James of white eyeliner and I can tell you, this is how all white eyeliner should always have been. Beautiful, gorgeous, and sets on its own. I mean, back in the day, we used to buy clown white foundation because it was so white and so thick, but because it was emollient base, we used to have to set it like to death. You're setting clown grease paint with white shadow. Because this is a gel base, it doesn't have to be set. Like it just dries on its own. Now, if you're trying to be really fierce, if it's drag con or something, it's a long day, I would set this with white shadow. Some days I'll take the white and the bottle blonde palette and just pad that in just to give it a little extra zhuzh. Paint it on in thin layers. It's already setting. Today under for my under eyes, I did two layers, so I'll just show you that. I mean, look how white this is. It's fierce. That is white, okay? Look at that. It looks like I put it in in post. It's amazing. It looks green screened. So that's the white. Again, it's not drying to the eyelids. You guys know I have super sensitive eyes and all my favorite gel liners in the past have been very drying to the lids. This is very gentle going on and gentle coming off, but my God, is it bulletproof. It is amazing. Which brings me to the black. You know, ask Vina Barbertal, ask, ask Darian Darling, ask um, Jack from Glow Up, people who've done my makeup over the years, they notice from touching me up which liners wear best. 
And whenever a makeup artist has said, wow, that black liner is not going anywhere. It's not creasing, it looks perfect. It's always been ours. It's always been ours and it's always been unprovoked. My whole face would get oily and the liner wouldn't. Like it's really gaggy, you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys the black now. Now, if the white is super white, let me tell you the black is super black. And again, I was dissatisfied with the industry's offerings with black gel liner. If you guys have watched the channel for a while, we will try these like whole all one brand videos. If you're making a black gel liner, it's gray. What are we doing? What are we doing? Why are we here? Like, if you're gonna make black gel liner, make it so black. I mean, this is midnight. It is midnight, it is power outage, you're blindfolded. When the sun explodes and we're all dead, this is that color. I mean, that is fucking black, bitch. Sorry, I shouldn't be swearing. I just get excited. You know what? When I get paid to work for the other brands, I'll use my little good girl language, but this is my channel and my eyeliner, this is amazing. Now, in addition to being able to do really beautiful graphic liner looks, this is the perfect product for doing dots, little dot work, perfect product for doing a classic thin line. This would be a great product to just tight line with. Like you don't have to do graphic liner with this product, but it's a gateway drug for sure. Something else I really love about this product is it buffs out as a cream shadow on its own. So if you wanna just prime your lids, a thin layer of the white would be a beautiful way to make shadows perform that maybe don't have the pigmentation you want. I mean, everybody knows that old school trick of laying down some like some white clown paint and then doing your eye makeup. You could use this just as a primer for your lid. You could use it as a white shadow on its own. I love the look of white shadow on people. And the black especially, I mean, all the TikToks right now are saying that Clean Girl Beauty's dead and grunge is coming back. This is the product for that. Take it out a pencil brush and just go in around your lash line. So if you're not a liner person, I'm also gonna say black and white gel, something like this that has a little bit of silicone in it to give it some slip. It's perfect for doing as a base for shadows. Oh, you could do a whole smoky eye. Like I love when eyeliner doesn't look like eyeliner. It looks like a whole eye look using pencils or creams. I think that's some big brain shit. This is also really good for a very classic look. You want like a little Marilyn wing liner. You want like a little cat eye. You don't have to be this daring makeup nerd to enjoy these products. I mean, these are really also very well equipped for day-to-day -day makeup looks. So in addition to having a great product, it really helps to have great tools. And if you're not new to our company, we have tons of great Trixie brushes, but there can always be more, especially when it comes to graphic liner. The right tools for the job make a world of difference. When I worked at the makeup counter, people would be like, I just can't get my eyeliner correct. I'd be like, well, show me your brush. The way they would pull out some disgusting wooden free brush that came in a palette at some point. And they're like, I just can't get a fine tip. And I swear to God, the end of the brush was like, Pfft. and I was like, well, nobody can get a fine tip with this because this is a tree branch girl. I really believe in having the best tools. I almost believe that investing in tools is more important than investing in product. You can make some not great products look amazing with the right tools. I mean, tools matter. Anybody who's a great makeup artist is a brush nerd and even those of us who aren't great makeup artists, we can be brush nerds too. So we have a new tool for you. Now, if you followed our company for a while, we do have a really nice, we have some great liner options. No offense to our current liner options, but we wanted to make something that was our most precise eyeliner brush ever. We tested a bunch of different styles as a group. So I would like to introduce you to HL32. This is our most precise liner brush ever, and it is specifically made to go with Hotline, but it's going to play totally friendly with all your other like liner products. But this is really beautiful with Hotline. And the packaging is gorgeous. So yours comes in a little protective sleeve. This is the brush. I'm gonna show you guys a nice little close up here. So this one has this really cool super mod. It has the pink dyed tip, but the brush handle is this fierce black and white 60s vibe. This brush is $7. It's synthetic, which means it doesn't shed. It's cruelty free. And something I love about synthetic brushes, especially for precision liner brushes is natural bristles, sable, goat, whatever. They tend to, when they're wet, reshape. It's the same principle as like doing a wet set of rollers in your hair or like, you know, braiding your hair when it's wet the night before so you have waves the next day. But when you're using synthetic brush hairs, these synthetic brushes, it would take immense heat or something to like melt it. But what I love about it is you can do really nice, beautiful, precise work, wash the hell out of it. And then while it's dry, just pinch it back into place and it's gonna stay in great condition for years. Today I used a PO2 brush, so you can kind of see the difference. I'm gonna hold them up next to each other. The Hotline brush is a little denser, a little shorter, and a little pointier. 
because it's really made for graphic liner. Our brush, if you have it at home, this one has longer bristles, so it's more versatile. I would say it's amazing for brows. I mean, for tight lining, this is pretty, but I love this new brush for like, this is how you do the bottom lashes. This is how you snatch up that crease and get a clean line. I mean, this is a very nice tool. $7. <laughs> Don't say we never do anything for you. This could have easily retailed for $165, I think. I'm sure they're out there. Brandon the other day was at Nigel's and was like, do you want me to pick you up that um, La Mer primer again? I was like, the $99 one? Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't. But this is seven bucks, which is amazing. And tools matter. Even if you don't have the fortune of having hotline in your bag, if you have this hotline brush, it can make totally normal liners perform above average. So um, if you're following along at home, our liners are 18 each. Again, huge tub of product, amazing performance. And our brush is seven. But lucky for you, you can get the bundle of both hotline shades of black and white and the new brush. You get them for a bundle price of 30 bucks. You base, I mean, these are normally 18 each. If you buy the bundle, you get these each for 15 and the brush is free. You save a lot of money. So if you're into black liners, I suggest you get into white liner and then get the brush for free. I mean, this is gonna like, this is gonna be how you begin your graphic lining journey. Pretty soon you're gonna be walking around looking like me and you'll all be better for it. So in addition to both shades of hotline and the brand new brush, we have nails. You might've noticed I have some really cool nails on today. By the way, you guys, I mean, I can't function in drag. This is about as long as I like to wear. Like I could still DJ in these. Like if I can't work a zipper, someday I gotta do a YouTube video of like having long acrylic nails for a week because I don't know how people live. Like, I don't know how people live. This is almost too much for me. After 15 years in drag, these are still almost too long. We have these new nails. We haven't done a set of nails since the Stargazer nails for Hello Princess. And these have been in the works for quite a while. I've been wearing these behind the scenes. If you watch Netflix or uh, you might've caught me with these on at certain points and I just was being secretive. I have big, huge man hands and I use, they completely fit my thumbs, everything. There's been times in my life where I had to buy a pack of toenails to do my thumbs. But this comes with a set of 24, which means there's plenty of sizes. I mean, you really only need 10. If you're doing all 24 nails, you're doing it wrong or you're putting them on your toes, which good for you. But I really love these and they're so beautiful. Like a black and white graphic liner look with white and black nails, like, ugh. Oh. Is that fun? Love. But all you nail bitches, I know you really want these. They're so gorgeous. And they retail for $12. Very rewearable, by the way. I rewear my Stargazer nails all the time and it's the same vibe. Stargaze nails came with stickers, which is what I prefer. But I want you guys to know that the Hotline nails come with glue, which I know a lot of you prefer. I have very sensitive skin. My skin does not agree with nail glue, but for many of you, you prefer nail glue, so. We have one more piece here in the Hotline collection. Um, if you've been following us for some time, you know that our mirrors are very popular, right? Here's a pink one. We've had them all different colors, green, red, all kinds of cool ones. And the one we have coming up next is perhaps my favorite. Bam, we have a new mirror here with this collection. I mean, if we're gonna do cool graphic black and white liner, black and white nails, we gotta do a black and white mirror. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum, bum. So beautiful, love. So if you had some of our mirrors before, this has that soft matte kind of finish. It's a little bit like satin meets um, like rubber, kind of vinyl, it kind of feels like a fresh pair of sneakers. This black and white is such a fun look. I mean, if you're getting into graphic liner, instead of leaning all the way into your mirror in the bathroom, it's so nice to be be able to pick up a brush and choke up on it and like get in there. This is such a great tool. I mean, in makeup, we talk so much about formulas and so much about like brushes and buying stuff and like a mirror you can bring this close to your face is very helpful. And again, if your makeup looks good from here, don't worry about it. Cause if somebody sees a mistake this close, they've gotten too close. It's a great way. Somebody's like, I think your liner's uneven. It's like, I think you should step back about 12 paces. As usual, our mirrors retail at 26. And if you're careful with it, it will last you a very long time. Unless you're like me and you jump on and off tour buses and smash them about once a year. But I get a new one every time because I know a guy. All right, so just to recap here, we have both shades of Hotline in black and white that retail at 18 each. We have our brand new liner brush, the HL32, or you can get the bundle. Instead of 18, 18, and seven, you could get the bundle, all of these for 30, which is such a good deal. But I just wanna warn you, the bundles usually go first. So if this matters to you, just get it the day it comes out, which is Thursday the 25th. It's coming. In the afternoon, we start to get tweets like, where's the bundle? And I'm like, well, Roll the tapes, I warned you. So like, this is evidence that I warned you. We also have the Jersey Cosmetics Hotline Nails. These retail at 12 and they are fierce. So cool, right? 
And finally, we have a brand new mirror because I know we always have people who are not makeup wearers but still like to get in on the game. So some of you homosexuals who just want to check the back of your, you know, home perm, this is great for you. The Hotline Collection launches this Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time at TrixieCosmetics.com, of course.